Hey, how's it going, guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm actually going to be talking to you guys about something pretty interesting. And that is the fact that over time, Grand Theft Auto 5 on the next generation has actually been getting downgraded in terms of graphics and other things like parallax overlapping and also car deformation. So I know what you're probably thinking to yourself. You're like, wait, what? Grand Theft Auto 5 is looking worse and worse over time? Well, you're actually right. After each patch that's come out and more recently some of the later ones, Grand Theft Auto 5 has actually been downgraded in terms of car deformation, parallax mapping, and also just general graphical performance. And it's actually pretty astonishing when you look at it, the changes that have been made. So right now I'm going to show you a few screenshots from a video I found on the Grand Theft Auto 5 forums website. I'll be sure to include that link in the description, but basically these are screenshots comparing the original patch, like when Grand Theft Auto 5 first launched on the PS4 and the Xbox One, and one of the later patches where these downgrades have actually happened, and they're pretty astonishing. So I'm going to show you the first screenshot right here. It's a photo of some gravel in front of Michael's house. Looks pretty standard, and here is the version after the patch, and you can see there's a huge downgrade in terms of the textures and how the gravel looks and obviously the shadowing and everything and you wouldn't really notice this and I didn't even notice this until I happened to stumble upon this video and I'm like wow these changes are intense there are some huge differences here here's a second photo of Vespucci Beach you can see here some footprints or whether it was like an animal or a human they look very detailed very nice again this is like as soon as Grand Theft Auto 5 launched and here is a recent picture after one of the mini patches and you can see that there's been a huge downgrade in you know just the way the footprints look and the beach itself also the background as well has gotten some huge downgrades and finally here is another photo this is probably the most convincing of them all of the train tracks you can see very good detail here of not only the tracks the wood the gravel in between and then here's the photo afterwards and you can see there's just a huge difference it almost looks like it's gone back to last generation and I didn't even notice this was happening right in front of my eyes until this video was made and I got a closer look at what was really going on. So you'll have to check out the entire video for yourself to get a good idea of what's been going on. But literally as I was making this video, Grand Theft Auto 5 just got a new update for the PS4, Xbox One, and it'll shortly be out on the 360 and the PS3. Now this was patch 1.09, and apparently it has a lot of fixes for some of the issues that I've talked about in this video. So right now, I'm gonna hop on Grand Theft Auto 5 and I'm gonna check out what's up. But nevertheless, I'm glad that Rockstar has actually uh, at least made an attempt to fix what was going on. I do believe that this was a bug that they didn't know was going on. I would really find it hard to believe that any really reputable game publisher and developer like Rockstar, who's made unbelievable titles in the past, would purposely downgrade their game on a next generation console. It really just doesn't make sense. So literally right now, a new patch for Grand Theft Auto 5 and GTA Online came out. So I'm going to go check that out. But nevertheless, those were some of the issues that were going on and hopefully it looks like patch 1.09 has actually implemented some minor fixes to solve some of these bugs and issues and graphical downgrades that have been going on because no one wants to have that in their game. I know I certainly don't. I always want the best Grand Theft Auto 5 and GTA Online experience that I can possibly get. But of course, let me know what you think about all this in the comment section down below. Again, if you did enjoy the video, a like rating would be awesome. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.